What's up guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? This is Rutaro aka Taro and in this video I'm going to show you a basic overview of the Blood Queen Lanithel fight in Ice Crown Citadel. For the free complete guide and many others go to tarowowguides.com. The Blood Queen Lanithel encounter is a high paced, fun and interesting fight that will take some coordination and getting used to. The raid composition should consist of two tanks, two to three healers and the rest DPS. Setting up for this fight is quite simple. Pre-hot the raid, range and healers need to spread out leaving the middle open and most importantly decide on a bite order. Each player should know who they are biting. The highest threat generating DPS will be bitten first by Blood Queen, but it's not uncommon for a Holy Pally who buff Righteous Fury to be bitten, so make sure to not use it in the beginning of this fight. Having a healer being bit is quite pointless and can cause a wipe. If possible, always bite top DPS first. The fight consists of two phases, a ground phase and an air phase. The ground phase doesn't have too many surprises and the raid should have no problem learning it. Healers will immediately notice the mass amount of raid damage that continues throughout the fight caused mainly by three of Blood Queen's abilities. First is Shroud of Sorrow, an aura that continues throughout the encounter and causes 4k's shadow damage every 3 seconds. Second is Swarming Shadows, which lays shadow flames at the feet of the target. Simply run to the outskirts to reduce damage and leave the middle open. Rogues can cloak out of it. Finally, Pact of the Dark Fallen, which inflicts damage on nearby players and yourself. Pact of the Dark Fallen links two players together and they must come together to get rid of the link. We found it easiest to have anyone inflicted with it meet in the middle of the room and wait until the debuff is off before spreading back out. As I said earlier, the most important part of this fight is getting bitten and gaining the essence of Blood Queen. The buff increases damage by 100% and heals for 10% of the damage inflicted. You also cause no threat. This fight is a DPS race and without gaining this, your raid is sure to hit the enraged timer and wipe. Work out the order before the pull and make any changes over vent if need be as the bite window is only 10 seconds. If you don't bite somebody, you'll be MC'd and wipe the raid, so it's more important to bite someone than no one. The bite order should start with the highest DPS and end with your tanks. It's helpful to alert healers who you are biting so they can make sure the target is at full health because it's possible to kill somebody with the bite if they are low on HP. The most dangerous phase is actually the air phase. It's very quick but it can be quite hectic with each player being hit by several blood bolts and feared into shadow flames. During the air phase be sure to spread out. This phase can also cause some problems with the bite order if the next to be bitten is too far away. If you don't think it's possible to bite your next target, simply bite the nearest DPS who hasn't been bitten and call it out on vent. Using raid marks can be an effective way for your DPS to see their bite target. Once enough DPS have been bitten, pop bloodlust or heroism and take the blood queen out. That's pretty much the fight so let's recap. Spread out, leave the middle open, linked players meet up in the middle, drop shadow flames on the outskirts, arrange a bite order, keep bites going, top off next bite target, pop bloodlust or heroism when most DPS have been bitten, and most importantly, have fun. So there you have it, a simple walkthrough of the fight with Blood Queen Lanithel. She's an awesome intense fight with a fast pace that most players should like. Well I hope this video was helpful to all the WoW players out there and for more free guides check out my completely free website at tarowowguides.com. Lastly don't forget to subscribe, just click the subscribe button to the right of the video as I'll be coming out with more videos and detailed guides to help all players have more fun in the world of Warcraft. Thanks for watching. Now go tell me the funniest or dumbest thing you've seen a player or yourself do in a raid or something in the comments section below. For me, it's watching countless auto runs into the boss.